All right, and I'm back. Just gonna search all these doors. Hopefully, I find a uh, screwdriver. <gasps> Wait. Empty. Oh, <gasps> the boxes are empty. Oh, I have to go back. Okay. The heck? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. That's S gross. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Bet there's body under it. Bet these guys are gonna kill us. Starting with Mark. It's a feeding trough. It's a feeding trough. OMG. Crazy. Uh, anything special in this one? Oh. Yes. Some fence posts. Because I can see that, because, you know, right there. Screwdriver. Screwdriver, screwdriver. Screwdriver. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. <laughs> like duty. <laughs> Jeez. Nothing in here. Alrighty then. Let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. God. God. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Uh, Danny needs something Danny again. Danny needs something again. <sighs> all right. All right. Be right back, Doc. Um. What? Are you that dumb? Run towards it. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. False alarm. I'm back. This is this is ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without him. There is falling in love. Ah. <sighs> going on, Lee? Did something happen? Kenny thinks they're hiding something. There's something odd with the barn door. There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. Uh... What are you and Kenny arguing about? What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor How in? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. About your it's dad. been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. 
So he's a. How do you put up with him? How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that, but he's not a bad guy. He just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything, and it's hardened him. You know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. You have a red eye. I love him. I'm starting to think they may After be hiding what something. Told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Alright, that's gonna be the episode in a minute. I think she's starting to like me. Should have given her some food. Um Well, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Hope you enjoyed the episode. This is starting to be pretty uneventful, unlike the first episode. Alright. Love you guys, hope you enjoyed the video, bye bye.